Hi escapers, welcome back. Thank you so much for signing up to um, watch our travel adventures. And uh, of course, below you can sign up and subscribe to the channel so you can get a lot more information about travel of all types. And again, I am so happy to welcome Lauren Green here from Thank Holland you. America. Thank and you. we're going to talk a little bit about adventurous travel. Yes. There's a lot of those escapers out there that travel with me. We love to get adventurous. I mean, we don't do things like jump off cliffs. Okay. But we do soft well, I mean, adventure. How adventurous are you? I'm just <laughs> really, but we're not that young. <laughs> yeah, but, I get it. <laughs> so, so sometimes they, they they think, oh, you know, how am I going to have any fun on a cruise? Yeah, you know? yeah, that's a but, good question. But I know that there are incredible destinations that that cruise ships go to that actually are best to go by cruise. Oh, but, definitely. So let's talk about some of those. I'd love to hear what are some of the destinations that come to your mind when you think about more adventurous travel, getting close, getting local? Yeah, I would say probably in Europe. So you've got your our Norway cruises that do like round trip Amsterdam and they go, we call it the Viking sagas, but it goes up through Norway. And so that's not a place that you necessarily think of to go on land. Like you wouldn't think to fly there and hang out there for a week. So it's a really cool way to see a lot of different areas of a country that you may not get to go to ever. Um, and then we also have like St. Petersburg, Russia, you know, also not a place that you necessarily want to fly and do a land through there. So no. that we do overnights in a lot of our ports, which is very cool. So you get that extended time. So you have one whole day there and then you sleep on the ship and then the next morning you have a whole extra day there. So Excellent. you're not feeling like you only have a few hours in one side yeah, of the port. a few world. hours to port. Right. Yeah. Um, so we also do Croatia, which is very cool. Love Croatia. Yes. Croatia It's on my beautiful. bucket list. I haven't been there yet. Same. Same. But again, one of those places that's very shore-driven. Very shore-driven, yes. So we've got three different ports. You can do Dubrovnik, Split, or Kator. Um, and a lot of times we'll do an extended stay in like Dubrovnik. So you'll be there from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. at night. So you've got you know the maximum amount of time there. And if you're going to land, you'd probably be going to sleep by 9 or 10 anyway. So yeah. it works out. Um, but the really cool thing with Hall America Line is that we have our Exploration Central, and this is up in our crow's nest, so the top front of our ship. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, like really large screens and um, areas up in the crow's nest that you can actually pull up your itinerary that you're traveling on and go into each port and see all the different excursions you can take, see all the different information about each port, so you can really dive deep into that destination. We'll have experts up there for the ports you're traveling to. We'll do like probably about an hour long talk the night before you arrive to your next port and they'll Excellent. kind of explain history, government, culture, all of those things, uh, nature of where the next place that you're traveling to. Uh, we do a lot of onboard enrichment, so we'll bring locals onto the cruise uh, to talk about you know different information regarding that next port that you're traveling to and so you can really dive deep into those destinations. Yeah. And the Excellent. nice thing about the cruise line is that you don't have to do the short excursions that are offered you can go explore the whole day by yourself yeah. so yeah well i was thinking when you were mentioning croatia pre and post you could go to montenegro oh or yeah somewhere pre and post or yes. slovenia which is absolutely a lot of people are wanting to start exploring because mm -hmm. it's kind of an unknown place yeah so there's so much you can so add much. on to expand oh that. yes yeah oh yeah you can yeah. always do like two three nights prior um and just you know get your hotel and just do whatever i mean you can really do whatever you want that's kind of the nice thing you don't have to get yourself to the next port or to the next area of that country you're on the ship and you travel at night while you're right. sleeping yep. so it's like really maximizing Slowly your time hotel, yeah really. it's like really maximizing <laughs> your time yeah. yeah yeah yep it's really great i mean like i was just in naples and we got off and we um went hopped on a ferry and went to capri we did that on our own excellent yeah and so that was pretty adventurous we went mm -hmm. to the blue grotto did all of that so you really can nice. make it what so how was you the blue grotto it. great blue grotto was so cool it's like this little tiny space to get everybody in. You have to lay down and completely lay down. flat, yeah. and they take you in with a chain. It was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. very cool. Worth it. So much fun. The pictures always look fabulous. Oh, yeah, I've like never done that one that, too. Oh, so, yeah, but it does look amazing. It's very cool. Definitely have to do it. And a lot of those are smaller ships. 
going to some of these yes. ports? Yes, yep. So they'll range like from like 1,300 passengers to like 2,100 passengers. Excellent. So they're Great nice size. mid-sized. Yep. Great we size. have our wraparound promenade deck, which is open on the outside of our ship. So you can, yep, so you can be outside at any time. In Europe, it's so cool to do that in Europe because it's scenic cruising almost the whole way. Yeah. So you get to see stuff from the, you know, get to see well, the shoreline. And yeah, it's just, it's a really great way to see that area of the world. Fabulous. Well, thank yes. you so thank much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. it. Yes. I hope you guys will join us one day. We'll we'll come up with an amazing cruise. Um, maybe yes. Croatia. Croatia. I want to go there. Let's do it. Yeah. So thanks Love so it. much for joining us, escapers. And again, subscribe below and look forward to seeing you next time.